everybody, Dr. Kyle from Z-Health. Today, what we're gonna show you is how to use this little device to improve your stamina and endurance in as little as seven minutes a day. Hi guys, we have a 9S certification, one of our advanced certifications, where our primary focus is on the elements of building greater stamina and endurance. Now, this is a huge topic, and one of the things that everyone would love to find is a shortcut to better stamina. And one of the things that we always focus on in Z Health is how the brain is responding to things. And if you've heard me talk about this before, we say there's basically three things that the nervous system does. It gets input from the body, the brain interprets that information, decides what to do about it, and then creates an output. Now, why that is super important when it comes to building better endurance is this thing called the metaboloreflex. So let me describe this for you. If I go out and I'm, and let's say I'm playing soccer, uh, in the first 20 minutes I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling really awesome, but then I have to make several sprints, one after the other, and I start to feel really fatigued. Well, one of the things that we're trying to figure out in the sports world is how do I prevent that fatigue, fatigue from happening? Uh, as research has grown around this, we've discovered and now talk about this thing called the metaboloreflex, and here's how it works. As I'm getting tired, some of the first muscles to fatigue in the human body are the muscles of respiration. All right? Now, if you think about us as primarily being a survival-driven organism, anything that compromises breathing is going to be a big threat. So if I'm out there running and my inspiratory muscles, my respiratory muscles are getting tired, and I cannot support my lungs as much as I need to because the muscles are too weak, what your brain starts to do is it says, hey, you know what, we need to slow you down, number one. And the way that it slows you down is by stealing blood from the extremities that you really need to be doing hard, powerful stuff and shunting that blood to the muscles of respiration. So that's the metaboloreflex. Now, why this is so interesting and so important is that for the first time, really, people are starting to, to expand on this idea and say, hey, if we actually strengthen the respiratory musculature, will we potentially improve stamina? Been a ton of research around this, and that shows that that's actually the case. Now, why this is so awesome is that we can approach this and get a huge benefit in endurance for a very low investment of time. Uh, and a lot of the research studies compare uh, the device I'm about to show you, or a device similar to what I'm about to show you, to people doing 90 to 120 minutes of interval work uh, per week, and we see very similar benefits, seven minutes, versus 90 to 120 minutes. So in our effort to always be more efficient as health practitioners, we found that the use of these respiratory muscle devices is incredibly valuable, incredibly important. So I'm gonna take you through how to use a device called an expand alone. all right? Now, it's a very simple little device, and so I'm very clear, it does not actually expand your lungs, <laughs> okay? It doesn't happen. But what it does do is it provides resistance to breathing in and also resistance to breathing out. Now. Why that's important is, again, we're trying to actually do muscle strengthening exercises. So if you're out there in the big wide world and you want to get a, uh, you want to get a stronger chest, you go, okay, I need to add some resistance. So I can do some push-ups. I can have my dog sit on me while I do some push-ups. I can do a bench press. And if I need to get stronger, what do I do? I put more load. I put more plates on the bar. Well, consider this a bar, okay, a dumbbell, a barbell for your breathing musculature. Um, so, the basic uh, way that this gets used is it just gets put into the mouth. There's a little valve here where you can increase or decrease the tension. So, I'm actually going to put it in and I'm going to do a couple of breaths. It'll sound strange. Probably looks awesome on camera too. Um, <laughs> but you can hear there's resistance, okay? So, the way that we have found this to be most effective is you do two exercise sessions a day, 30 seconds, or sorry, 30 breaths, okay, twice a day. So you're talking about 60 breaths uh, each day. And the main idea here is you want the intensity of the device to be about 50 to 70% of your max effort. How do you judge that? It's really darn simple. By the time you finish 30 breaths with a device, you should be tired, meaning it should feel like you've actually just worked out your respiratory muscles. So if you do this morning and evening, 30 breaths in the morning, 30 breaths in the evening, focusing on a fast, hard inhale. We'd like to tell people aim for one to two seconds to get all your air in, three to four seconds to get all your air out. Do that twice a day. In four to six weeks, you're going to actually seriously feel significant difference in your stamina and endurance. And again, think about that. If you use it, we probably just saved you somewhere around 83 minutes a week 
uh, to building stamina. So really, really effective, powerful tool. Give it a try. If you have any questions, please let us know. No, that's not what I want to say. Cut! How's that up for a cut? Karate chop. Karate <laughs> chop.